Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, I'm warm welcome to CBS Institute YouTube channel. My name is Navin Rajo. I'm a quantitative trainer and reasoning faculty and director of CBS Institute. In this video, I'm going to share you a detailed syllabus of number system. This syllabus is very related to SSA, CGL, CHSL and CPO and uh, all sectional exams and RRB, NTPC and CAT and CRT exams also. So the number system subtopics are very important to score and very good in a uh, uh, exams so the subtopics is start with first types of numbers and prime and co-prime rule this is a very very important it is used in simplification session in all chapters also and primary operations and fractions decimal divisibility rules and uh, factors multiples finding power of a number and finding reminders and trolling zeros and word problems uh, and also simplification and LCM and SCF. I'm going to show you a syllabus of factors and how to find the factors of a number. Okay, so factors means our numbers, it is used to make a huge number. Factors are categorized into basically two types, prime factors and composite factors. Again, composite factors are again categorized into several types like odd factors, even factors also. So, total factors depend on the uh, prime factors. Why it depend on prime factors means prime contain only two factors. One is one, other is itself. So that is we are going to find uh, uh, we are going to find total factors with help of prime factorization technique. So what are the syllabus in factors is a uh, total factors, number of odd factors, number of even factors. Num next uh, unique prime factors, number of prime factors, uh, sum of factors, sum of odd factors sum of even factors and sum of prime factors and the last one a product of factors these are the syllabus we have to cover in a factor syllabus so all these 10 topics depend on the one concept that is called the prime factorization technique what is mean by a prime factorization technique in this technique first a number i pro make a product of primes because any composite number definitely form with help of only prime factors that is the cases each number can make a product of primes till the last factor is a prime and notice the powers of appropriate primes and the third one total factors is equal to power of prime plus one and power of other prime plus one till the last prime so here power value indicate the number of times it repeated and one indicate it contain other factor that is called one let's suppose take two cube two repeated three times two cube means two repeated three times and it contain other factor that is called one that is a reason we add one for the power of prime so this is a method to find the total factors of number let's go simple example and start with the session of factors let us take an example to find of total factors of a number i take a number of 48 it's a very simple number then we go for the huge number also there are uh, there are totally 10 factors for 48 very well knew it so we start with this technique of a prime factorization technique okay let's go with 48 48 is not a prime number you can make it as product of 16 into 3 so why are you go with the 16 to 3 means i have a, a grip on divisibility rules so if you start with 2 and 3 it's a time taking process so before doing a factorization of number you have a good grip on divisibility rules that will help you to uh, a factorization very in smart way okay so 16 3 is a 48 here yeah, 3 is a prime number 16 is not i can make it as 2 power 4 so 2 is a prime number so Totally there are uh, so uh, two, two prime factors, one is two, other is three. So I'm going to find about total factors, TF. TF is total factors. Two comes how many times? Four times. It contains other factor that is called one. Okay, two comes how many times? Four times it contains other factor one. And three comes one time it contains other factor also one it is. Okay, get my logic. So get my logic, two repeated how many times? Four times. It contains other factor one. Chalo. Next to three contain three power is one and it contains other factor one. So 4 plus 1 gives you how much? 5 and it is 2. 5 twos are how much? 10. So there are total how many factors? 10 factors. This is a method to finding total factors of number. And next we are going to find about uh, total odd factors. Let us go for check out uh, odd factors of 48. 1 is an odd number and 3 is an odd number. Okay. So 1 is odd number, 3 is an odd number. Total how many odd factors? There are only 2 odd factors. Okay. There are only 2 odd factors. So before we are going to find about odd factors odd factors take odd prime take odd primes take odd primes only take odd primes only so in 6 48 48 can write a 2 power 4 and a 3 power 1 what is a odd prime only 3 so 3 power 1 therefore odd factors 
odd factors is equal to 3 comes how many times? 1 time. It contains other factors called 1. So 1 plus 1 gives you how much? It is 2. Therefore 48 contain how many odd factors? There are only 2 odd factors it is. So this is a process to find it is an odd factors. Now we discuss about even factors. How many even factors? There are 8 even factors. There are 8 even factors. You can find the total even factors. Even factors even factors is equal to total factors minus odd factors what do you do even factors is equal to total factors minus odd factors now what i go for it is 48 48 can make 16 into 3 uh, 16 to 3 can write 2 power 4 and uh, 3 power 1 first total odd factors means what 2 comes how many times 4 times let take 1 as and 3 comes one time take 1 as minus odd factors means take only odd primes what is odd prime 3 3 comes one time and one time so 4 plus 1 gives 5. 5 to are almost 10. 10 minus 2, 8. Total how many factors? It's 8. So the same cases, can I take or uh, even prime? No, it's not possible because so rest of two, all primes are called an odd primes. That is the cases when we going to find out even factors, you just remember total factors minus odd factors. You got an uh, even factors because only we have one even prime number and the rest of all primes are called an odd number. That is the cases we go with odd factors for odd fact, uh, odd primes. When we go for even factors, total factors minus odd factors is the main reason to answering a uh, even factors. So this is is an example for finding total factors and uh, total odd factors and total even factors next we're going to find about uh, total unique primes unique primes means not repeated are different primes not repeated and different primes okay next i'm going to find about unique prime factors means independent prime factors so let us go for 48 48 and 16 48 can write 16 into 3 so 2 power 4 and 3 power 1 so unique primes means different primes unique primes means different primes so different primes so what are the different here 2 and 3 total unique primes are how many so total unique primes are how many there are only two unique primes so this is this is and i'm going to find about total primes Total primes means what? Repeated also. So, 2 repeated how many times? It is 4 times. Total primes means what? Repeated times also. 2 repeated how many times? 4 times. And 3 repeated how many times? 1 time. So, 4 plus 1 gives how much? 5. So, 5 is called a total primes. 5 is called a total primes. And uh, unique primes means different. So, 2 comma 3. So, 2 comma 3 total how many, how many unique primes? There are 2 unique primes. And total how many primes? There are 5 primes. So, that is called 2 repeated 4 times. So, first time 2 is prime. Second time 2 is prime. Third time 2 is prime. Fourth time 2 also called a prime. And uh, 3 1, 3 power 1 is called also called prime so totally how many primes you get there are five primes so first two second two third two fourth two the others are also called a prime okay so this is unique prime is what different actions different primes are how many here it is only two there are only two total primes are how many there are five so this is a finding of factors of numbers let us take a other example find the total factors of 144 so let's go for factorization of 144 144 you can write 16 lines are 144 you start with two also but time taking so i i give you again uh, one suggestion so please get a good grip on divisibility rules because it takes a less time to factorization of a number and it is also take less time to do simplification also okay so 16 lines are 144 16 you can write a 2 power 4 9 you can write a 3 square okay so here if the prime powers of prime numbers if the powers of prime numbers are even it's a perfect square root number okay make a note so if the powers of prime are even definitely it is a perfect square root number definitely perfect square root number or if the powers of primes are two multiple if the powers of prime are two multiple it's a perfect square root okay so what is the square root value half of the powers so two square and three power one what is this square root of 144 it is 12 okay get a good idea on this one so very very important so if given perfect square root number all powers of their primes are called uh, even numbers or multiple of 2 is called a perfect square root number okay i'm going to find about total factors what are the total factors 2 comes how many times 4 times it contain other factor what is that 1 
okay so 2 contain 4 2 power is 4 it contain other factor is 1 and 3 power is 2 it contain other factor is 1 so 4 plus 1 gives you 5 and 2 plus 1 gives you 3 5 3 is how much 15 so there are totally 15 factors of 144 so if total factors is odd if total factors is odd it's also perfect square root number okay perfect square root so perfect square root okay yeah so very very important if total factors is odd definitely given number is a perfect square root number all perfect square root total factors are always an odd number but powers are even number okay let's go with the other example find the total factors of 576 let us go for 576 here 5 uh, 7 and a 6 it divisible by uh, like 9 divisibility rule so 9 6 are 54 54 9 4s are 36 9 4s are 36 so next uh, 9 means what you can write 3 square nothing but what uh, 8 8s are 64 now it is 3 square and it is 2 power 6 2 power 6 8 means what 2 cube 8 means what 2 cube so 2 cube into 2 cube nothing but what 2 power 6 so here it is 3 power is 2 is an even number and 2 power is 6 also even number it's a perfect square root number what is the square root is 3 and 2 power 2 cube so nothing but what uh, so 2 cube means nothing but what 24 2 cube means 8 8 3 is 24 i'm going to find about total factors what are the total factors so 2 comes how many times 6 times it can tell the factor 1 and 3 comes how many times 2 times it can tell the factor 1 so 7 into 3 7 3 is how much 21 21 is odd number yes absolutely therefore 9 5 7 to 6 is a perfect square root of number total how many factors is a 21 factors what is the square root is 24 okay so next go with the other question so next question find the total factors of 729 so 729 is a composite number you can take it as uh, divisible by definitely 9 9 8 are 9 1 are again 9 into 9 square nothing but what 9 cube so 9 you can write 3 square and old cube so 3 power it is 6 3 power it is 6 so 9 8 are 72 9 1 are 81 can rewrite as of 9 square 9 into 9 square nothing but 9 cube 9 you can rewrite as of 3 square and old to power of n a power m old to power of n gives you a power mn so 3 power 6 so only we have one prime and what is the power it is 6 even number definite is, is perfect as square root number okay what is the square root 3 cube what is square root 3 cube half of the power so 6 half is 3 3 cube i am going to find about total factors so 3 comes how many times 6 times it contains other factor is what is this 1 so total how many factors 7 okay 7 it is so there are totally 7 factors of 729 so number of factors number of huge factors depend on composite if getting more composite factors you get more factors if getting less composite factors less factors okay so sir it is only 7 factors here it is 576 contain 21 factors but 729 contain only 7 factors don't compare the factors because if 57 because 576 contain more composite factors that's why you get more factors Factors, but 729 contain only less composite factors that's why it contain less factors okay that is a major reason to get a less factors okay what are the total factors of 729 there are 7 and what is the square root is 3 cubit is okay so this is an uh, how to handle a perfect square root of factors let's go with other example find the total factors of 268 so 268 so if you go with 2 it takes a lot of time so last two is divided by 4 yes absolutely 4 6 are 24 4 7 are 68 so 4 means what 2 square and 67 is a prime number 67 is a prime number now i'm going to find about total factors so is it perfect square root number no not at all because 67 is a prime what is the power of 67 1 1 is not an even number that's why it's not a perfect square root number and go total factors 2 comes 2 times it contain other factor 67 contain only one time it contain other factor 1 so uh, 3 2 plus 1 3 3 2 is a 6 if total factors is even it's not a perfect square root so if total factors is odd perfect square root if total factors is even not a perfect square root okay so this is your uh, final answer how many factors of 268 there are 6 okay this is your answer let's go with other example 675 so 675 means what it is divisible by 15 also 
so because what is the sum of the digit is 18 6 plus 7 plus 5 gives you how much it is 18 okay 18 and is divided with 5 so 18 means divided with the 3 as well as uh, as well as you know divided is 5 so it divided by 3 and 5 i take 15 okay so i so please get a good grip on divisibility rules to get an easy uh, factors so i take 15 15 fours are 16 and 15 fives are 75 okay so 15 fours are 15 fours are 60 how much left 7 75 15 fives are so 15 you can write 3 into 5 45 is 15 threes are uh, 45 so 3 into 5 again it is 3 into 5 and a 3 it is so 3 comes how many times 3 times and 5 comes how many times 2 times so there are total factors of this one it is 3 comes 3 times it contains other factor 1 5 comes 2 times it contains other factor is 1 so 3 plus 1 gives you 4 4 3 is a 12 so 12 is an even number it's not a perfect square root total 675 contain how many factors there are 12 factors so next question find the odd factors of 675 so 675 you can rewrite as uh, it is divided with 15 15 4 is a 60 and 15 5 is a so 15 you can write 3 into 5 and 45 is you can write 9 into 5 so 3 comes how many 3 times and 5 comes how many times is a 2 times so a 675 is an odd number so if unit digits if unit digits are 1 3 5 if unit digits are 1 and 3 and 5 and 7 and 9 definitely there are these are odd numbers okay if the unit digits are end with 1 3 5 7 9 these are called odd numbers and odd composite numbers gives only two types of factors one is prime factors and other is odd factors there is no possible to get a even factors of odd prime composite numbers odd composite numbers okay therefore odd factors here odd factors is equal to a total factors total factors why it's a odd number it's a odd number okay so there are 3 cube plus 1 and 2 plus 1 so 3 cube 3 comes 3 cube means 3 plus 1 is 4 4 4 3 is how much it is 12 3 plus 1 4 and 3 total how many factors it is 12 factors so all factors of 675 are called odd factors because it's a given number is odd number okay only even composite number only even composite number contain three types of factors one is prime factors and even factors and odd factors but odd numbers contain only two types of factors one is prime factors and other is odd factors it is all okay so total factors of 675 are called what are that odd factors okay what are the even factors zero what are the even factors of 615 uh, even factors of 675 are how many zero there are no even factors of 675 because 675 is an odd number next find the total odd factors of 144 144 so 144 is even number so 16 nines are and uh, 16 link can write 2 power 4 and uh, 3 square so if we odd factors go for odd primes only odd factors are depend on odd primes odd factors are depend on which primes odd primes so that is called a 3 square there are total 2 plus 1 total how many odd factors there are only 3 odd factors so rest of the factors are called even factors okay what are the odd factors of 144 it is only 3 only even composite number contain three types of factors one is prime factors and second is odd factors and third is even factors there are only three types but only odd composite number contain two types of factors prime factors and odd factors and even factors are how many there are zero so we already discussed in previous question